Hey, welcome back. Uh, oh, welcome for the first time. My name is Z and I'm a creator. That sounds so wrong. <laughs> I create things, yes. So shout out to everyone who responded to my question on Instagram. So today we're gonna be looking at the software that I use to edit my videos, which is Adobe Premiere Pro. Uh, it's probably one of, you know, uh, the most popular software is out there in the world globally that video creators or content creators use to edit their videos. Uh, so this is good for you if you've never used Premiere Pro or if you've someone has suggested it to you before and you opened it and you're like, ah! you know, this is for you. Think of it as a crash course to just learn the basics. What you want to do, of course, is get yourself Premiere Pro. Once you've installed Premiere Pro is you want to start it up. Videos may be different. If you're opening it for the first time, you probably won't have this recent section here. So what you want to do is go on new project and then it'll give you this window which you can name your project, whatever you want to name it. I'm going to name this one tutorial, woo, tutorial YouTube, right? Uh, and then this is pretty much where it's going to save on your computer. I'm just going to leave it like that and you want to leave everything else the way it is don't touch it it's at this point where if you've never seen premiere pro you're like <gasps> but it's actually not as intimidating as it looks so i'm actually going to break it down to five sections which will make it easier for you to see what this workspace is i'm going to start with the bottom left this window or this section is where your project tab is so think of the project tab as your file manager this is where you drop your footage, your videos, your audio files, and then you'll just have them there, like in a filing system, pretty much. And then you wanna ignore all the other tabs that are on this window, except the effects tab, which will give you effects and transitions that you will use to edit your video, right? And then the second window, the second section, is this little strip where it just has the tools that you use, the tools that you're gonna to use to cut or trim or select or drag things or whatever. So we're gonna to touch on three tools that I think are important for you when you're starting off, which is a selection tool, the blade tool, and the type tool. And then the third window or the third section is a timeline window. This is where you are going to be sequencing your footage, where you're gonna be adding effects, adding transitions, cutting, uh, footage and putting it in an order that you want it to be in. The timeline separates uh, video and audio into layers. You will see when I import my footage here. And then the fourth window is the program window. This is pretty much a monitor, which is gonna be monitoring everything that you're editing on the timeline. You'll be seeing it on the program window. And then the fifth and last window that I think is important is this one. Here you also wanna just focus on two tabs, which is the effect controls and the source uh, tab. So the effect controls control everything that is here on the timeline. Uh, so if you wanna scale up your, your footage or you wanna move it around, move the position, or if you wanna change opacity or you wanna rotate it, or if you've added effects on it, you can also edit them from the effect controls. And then the source tab, this is a window. Again, it's a monitoring window, but you can use it to edit individual videos, mostly for cutting them before you add them to the timeline. So let's say you've imported your footage onto the project tab. You can click on a certain video and cut it before you put it onto the timeline. So that's pretty much it. You know, now I'm going to import my footage and show you how that same process that I've shown you works. The best thing is to actually pre-organize your files into a filing system that you can easily recognize. And then you just drag it onto the project window. I have two videos and one audio file. So because I know I don't want to use the entire duration of my clips, I want to trim them before I put them on my timeline. So I'll double click on one of them and they will appear here on the source tab as I said before, and then I'll just scroll through and find where I want to start. So I want to start here. And then how you mark where you want to start is you use this mark in tool, then you click there, and then you continue dragging to where you want it to stop, which is there. And then I use my mark out tool. And then, so this is the part that I am going to use for my clip. And then I just click on the image, drag it onto 
uh, my timeline window and then voila it creates a timeline for you so it pretty much separates the video from the audio as you can see and then you can add more audio files going down or video files going up or images how the video layers work is actually that whatever is on top is what is shown in the monitor so you want to make sure that you don't have a video on top of another video because the one that's on top is the one that's going to show when it comes to audio files that doesn't apply anything just plays even if it's on top or below it just plays on audio you've got m and s uh, m is pretty much mute and s is solo so if i want to mute everything that's on this audio file layer i can click on m and it won't play any audio from that layer or if i have five audio files and i just want to play the audio file on this layer i can click on s which is solo and it automatically mutes the rest and just plays this layer and then when it comes to video this i can hide or make visible whatever video you have there i'm sorry i'm going fast but it's a the crash course you know we are crashing bob <laughs> moving on since now i have my first video on there I'm just gonna do the same thing for my second video. I'm gonna double click it and then it's gonna appear on the source window. And then I'm just gonna choose where I want it to start and end. I want it to start somewhere here. And then I choose my in point and then choose where I want it to end, which is somewhere there. I click on the end point. Then again, I click and drag. I want it to come after this video. So I put it there. Now I want to add my audio file right so i can do the same thing where i double click it and then i click where i want it to start or end or um what i'm actually going to do is just drag the entire clip here so i just want the audio from uh, my audio file selected audio file to play so i'm going to mute this layer so that it only plays my track so now So because I know that I want this video to, to end here and this one to start there, that's where the blade tool comes or the razor tool. So if I click on the razor tool and I come here, I can then click there. It automatically cuts that audio, um, that video, sorry. And then I can use the selection tool again, click on the part that I don't want, delete, and then drag this one back so that it starts there. So now, we can add effects if we want to between these two clips. There are so many effects that you can use. So you go to this window and go to effects, look for video transitions and look for a transition that you would want. I mean, there's so many of them. You can look through all the ones that you want, but I'm gonna use one that's mostly used by so many people. So you just click on the one that you want. I'm gonna use cross dissolve and you put it in between the two clips that you want to transition between. So you see now when I play it back, it has that cross dissolve between the two clips. You can uh, adjust this by dragging it out so that it's longer, or you can drag it back uh, so that it's shorter. Uh, I'm gonna leave mine the way it is. Now I want text to come after this last clip, and that's where the type tool comes in. I use the type tool, so the, that's the thing with the type tool. You don't add it here on the timeline. You go to the program window and then just click anywhere. And then you just type. Remember I said you can edit your everything that's on your timeline under effect controls up here. So I want to center align this. So I'm gonna come here, make sure that the this text layer is selected here and then you see I have controls here I can make it uh, center aligned and then I'm just gonna click the selection tool and then center this uh, the cool thing about Adobe Premiere Pro is it's got guides which can snap something into the middle so that you know that it's actually in the middle because my audio is ending here you can drag this file as well you can pretty much shorten clips by dragging them as well from the front or from the back. 
So we're almost done, but I just want my audio file to not just end abruptly. So I want to add a fade on my audio. So I go under audio transitions. This is still under effects uh, and then look for exponential fade. And I'll just drag it to my audio file at the end. You'll see it will highlight there and then you just drop it there. I'll just extend it a little bit so that it fades out over a longer period of time. And now I can play it back like that. So when you're done, you can pretty much uh, export it. You can go to file, export media, and then it will give you a pop-up window. Ideally, if this is your first time or you're not familiar with this software, you want to leave almost everything the way it is. Just make sure the format here is under H.264 and then you can leave the preset as um, high bit rate. Usually it will give you a really good result either way. What you do want to change is the output name. Uh, if you click here, you can pretty much choose where you want it to save and the file name of how you want it to be saved. And you pretty much click export, go on the internet, you know, send your video to your friends, you know? This was a really, you know, fast crash course just to get you familiar with Premiere Pro. If there are things that you'd want me to clarify more or for, if you'd want me to do a follow-up video, uh, feel free to uh, let me know in the comments down below. If I was too fast, just let me know as well. I've actually never taught anyone. So I don't know if, I, if this was actually a good video for you. With that said, if you liked this video, please leave a thumbs up and do subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but apart from that, until next time, Ah, uh, that was good. Neck pain.